Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, I decided I didn't have any self-control after all, and I decided I wanted to add the bobbing motion to this, which is really easy because we've already done it in another video uh, on the casual channel. Um, I'm, I'll just show you how to do it here really quickly, because it's actually kind of important. I probably should have included it in the last video. So what we need to do is we need to add relative motion so add to the relative location so add relative location and what we're going to do is we're going to do get time since creation and all we have to do is run this through sin and then multiply it by 0.2 and then we just got to feed that into this. Now what this does, I'll run it through a print. So get time. We'll do three. We'll do this three times, just so, just so, just for the, so you can see. We just got to join all these up because it preserves the tick execution line thing. And we're going to run that straight into add relative location. So we're going to just compile, save, and hit play. And as you can see, the, the platform's floating up and down now. And if you look on the left-hand side, if you can actually see it, <laughs> um, you might have to be running in the full HD mode. I, I don't know. Maybe 720p might be fine. But you can see that number's going up. And that's the get time. That's the game time since creation. So that's 22 seconds. And yeah, it's just going up. And what that does is when you pass it through sin, it does this. And this is what you get. So that value is going up and down like a yo-yo. Just goes up and down, up and down like a sine wave. So that's that. But that's not what's actually being fed into the thing. Because we're only adding a small amount, if we were to actually add the full amount into there, it'd get a bit more wild. So that's probably a bit too much going up and down. Now that's fine, but and it gives you a good visual representation of what's going on there for every tick. But uh, that's just that's what's going on there. So if we put it through, if we scale it down by multiplying it. By 0.2, the values come out at this. And this is what's constantly being added every single tick to the to the relative motion. That's why it reduces by a bit. So, yeah, uh, in a nutshell, that's how you make something bob up and down. In this case, the flying carpet slash ship slash weird Minecraft boat mechanic thing that I made. I, I don't even know what to call it, but it... it it lets you fly around in a very crude way. Uh, I'm going to model a ship for it. I can't can't resist. I just haven't decided on what shape and whether I'm just going to copy something out of a sci-fi movie like Firefly, which would be interesting. But yeah. So anyway, 